Good morning, everybody. Today we're gonna walk you through our top 10 camper DIY upgrades and modifications. In this video, we're gonna show you all of the unique customizations we've made to our Rockwood A192 high wall camper that help us get the most out of our RV and our trips. One of the first upgrades we made to our camper was upgrading the locks. Uh, any camper out there typically uses the same exact lock, which is a CH751. Not only are these locks cheaply made, uh, but they all use the same key, so there's very little security provided from other campers. What we chose to use is what's called a tubular cam lock. Uh, these are the ones that you will see on a variety of different vending machines. My favorite part about a cam lock is you can always tell which way to put it in. It's a very smooth turning motion. And even better, there's 10,000 unique combos. And closing it is just as easy. Very smooth. One of the fastest modifications we made was to the boards that we put underneath our camper jacks. Uh, we took a basic piece of nylon cord as well as some staples and they just make it really easy for carrying four at a time um, as well as kind of quickly and easily getting them underneath the jacks. So the next few hacks we're gonna talk about are our storage hacks for inside the camper. The first one is this set of Veskin Ikea shelf. Uh, this is super easy to assemble. You can also get it in black. Um, it costs $10 and it just adds a ton of vertical storage that's easy to access right as you walk in. We tend to put a lot of things um, like chips, burger buns, as well as keys, bug spray. I'm right here because it's easy to access both from the bed as well as from the doorway. So one of our biggest challenges has always been storage. The dinette for us was kind of our go-to place for, for clutter in the camper. Uh, so we decided to reduce the size of the dinette and install three IKEA storage cabinets. Uh, this did require us to kind of cut down and re-sew the cushions, but for us, camping for two, having designated storage that's easy to see, easy to get to, is a win. One of the biggest complaints about the dinette for A-frame campers is that it's really tight. Uh, because they also have to function as the base for the bed, you don't get a lot of breathing room. My husband and I, all we need is a small table so we've opted to remove the original dinette and just use this uh, small Ikea metal table. The best thing about this modification is we still have the original table and it also still fits in here, even with the built-in cabinets, that if we needed, needed to convert this to sleep a third person, we easily could. This upgrade we did was to the front jack. We opted for another manual jack instead of hooking up an electric one. The previous jack that we had would crank this direction and constantly hit the propane tank every time you would turn. It was also a lot thinner and it was not very sturdy. This jack goes up and down this direction so it's a lot easier and a lot faster to go. It's also a lot thicker and a lot sturdier but the fittings fit just the same. We also opted for upgrading the wheel to a more robust wheel as well. This one has two tires instead of one.
This addition we made to add an antenna to the camper, so that way on rainy days we could get better TV signal. For this, we added one of these omnidirectional antennas. We'll have a link in the description for some similar ones that we found, and we've just attached it to our Yakima bike racks here. Uh, we're able to easily adjust it. We could even mount it on the taller one if we needed to, but it also lets us easily uh, take it down and store it when needed. So this one goes along with the antenna. Uh, we originally had a TV just on the countertops here, but it took up a lot of space. So we got this mount, which you can see in another video how we set it up, but it makes it very easy to just take the TV on and off. So whenever we need to store it, we just put it on the bed, collapse the camper, and we're good to go. And then to put it back up, Number two on our list is adding this shower curtain rod that goes across the apex of the camper. This has allowed us to add additional storage containers here that we can store our clothes in when we need to. It also allows us to hang towels or laundry up whenever it's raining outside. We use a collapsible shower curtain and 3D printed parts to hold the shower curtain rod so that way we wouldn't have to worry about the rod falling on us. This one is for insulation that we've added to all of the windows. They're just held on by simple Velcro command strips. And we did this because a lot of times we'll camp in very hot climates where the sun is very strong and this helps reflect a lot of that heat because these walls on this camper aren't very thick but this stuff makes a world of difference. So we've got it lined on basically all of the windows here. Another advantage this reflective insulation gives is it blocks a lot of the light. So if you really want to sleep in, you can. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to help out the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.